Here are five free ways to record audio on your Mac. Let's go. All right, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to record audio on your Mac, and we're gonna show you five different ways you can do it for free. And again, if you're a professional user, you may know a couple of these. I'm gonna show you a couple unusual ways of doing it as well, so stay with me. Also, uh, you know, definitely post some comments. I know there's more out there, more ways to do this, so I know people are gonna be like, hey, you can do it this way, you can do it this way. Post them in the comments to help others out. I'm gonna show you five different ways to record audio. You can record, you know, it would via your microphone or an external mic. How to do it on a Mac without actually having to download additional, you know, paid for software. Now again, there's other free software you can download. This is all stuff that's kind of built into the Mac when you buy Buy the you know the buy the Mac brand new basically um, you know with the core applications like you know pages and things like that so I'm going to show you how to do it long story short let's jump into it it's going to hopefully be a short video I know I say that sometimes and it gets away from me a little bit but you know what can you do um, anyways we're going to go through all five of them again stay with me because the first two might you might know a little bit more about and then the last three are going to be a little bit more unusual again is it mind shattering or anything like that no but if you're interested in the Mac let's go. All right, so we're going to start with the easier ones and work our way to the more, I guess, things that are less common to record audio. So the very first one is going to be the easy one. If you go down to, let's go down here, let's go to Launchpad, you'll see here voice memos. And there's a couple things about this. Obviously, most people know about this. If you're brand new to the Mac, you may not. But go ahead and launch that. There's a couple things I wanted to show you. After you record something, you can go ahead and click a button here like this and it's gonna record your voice, you can see it there, and then you can click done. So once that's done, it's gonna put a recording over here, see it in the left-hand side, and uh, in order to do something with this, a couple different things, you can actually, after it just kinda of saves in here, you can take it, you can drag it like that over here, and now this is actually an MP4 or MPA file, I guess. It's basically a sound file, and you can use this a lot of different ways. So that's how you can get that file out of there. It's not just stuck in this list over here. And then beyond that, the two things I wanna tell you about this one is just really quickly, if you go up to, let's go ahead and click on this again in order to make sure you're recording on the right microphone you have to actually go into system preferences when you have this program open and go into here go into your sound icon right here and just make sure that you're you know I'm using a five fine mic microphone an external mic this is what's going to be capturing in here so make sure this is set up on your input make sure that's correct there um, beyond that though the other thing I wanted to show you is if you click on this again voice memo and you go up to uh, voice memo you go up to preferences inside of here you can see it um, I always change the audio. It's usually compressed. I change it to lossless. It's a better quality sound. And uh, I have echo in my room right now just because of the fact that I'm doing remodeling. And then this thing, it only saves it usually for like 30 days. So make sure you say this to never. Otherwise, you know, never deleted. Otherwise, these will end up being deleted later if you're not saving them somewhere else. So just keep that in mind. Those are some tips there. Um, once you're done with the file, though, you can close all this down. See this file over here? You can open up something like which I'm recording this video right now, but you can open up iMovie and just drag this file into it over here. See how it creates a sound file in here if you want to use it for like iMovie. And then you can drag this into your timeline and use it just like normal audio. So that's all there is to the first one. All right, number two is QuickTime. And if everyone has QuickTime, that should be you know be built into your Mac. So all you have to do is go to Launchpad down here, open up QuickTime right there, QuickTime Player, and you'll see nothing really opens up except for the menu bar up here. And uh, what you want to do is you want to go to File, New Audio Recording. You can see it there. So go ahead and click on that. And this little box comes up, and you can see how it's kind of recording my voice. The only things I want to say about this is, you know, this don't don't get, you know, number one, you don't want to uh, mess with this bar here. This is going to be an echo. So I'd leave this down to the left over here if you're recording. The second thing to do here is, this is going to be the record button right here in red. But what you want to do is, before you do that, you want to click on this little arrow, down arrow. Click on that, and you'll see, here's how you pick the microphone you're recording into. Again, I'm going to be recording on an external Fi-Fi microphone. And then the quality down here, high or maximum. I always choose maximum. And uh, and then when you record this, it's going to basically you know save it to a file just like it would be a normal file. And then you can use it any way you want to. And that's all there is to that one. All right, number three is going to be common, but there's a couple tricks. It's going to be GarageBand. So let me show you that one now. Everyone should have that. Uh, if not, you can download it for free. So what you want to do is you want to go in into your uh, launch pad here and click GarageBand like this. And then there's a couple little tricks to recording audio this way. It's going to load up. I have something open already, but I'm just going to go to File, New, up here. Uh, and uh, it's going to say Empty Project. So you're going to click Choose. And then it's going to come up with this screen here. See this here? And what you want to do is you want to select this box under Audio. It says Record Using a Microphone or Line Input. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Create right here. 
and uh, it's going to go ahead and open this up. So if the first time you open this up, it's going to ask you what kind of microphone you want to use. And I did choose my external. See it down here. Input. You can also go down here and change it if you want to. Mine's this fine, fine microphone. But it should ask you the first time. So all you have to do basically is once you're in here is you go ahead and just click this record button. And as I'm actually hear that noise, let's go ahead and stop this. So before you do that, actually, this is a good, good tip here. You want to remove, see these two purple things? These things make noises. It's a metrodome and it's a countdown. So get rid of those things. And I should have told you that, but I didn't. And you could hear that like clicking noise. So now, you know, turn those off and then record. This is a test to see what's going on. This is a test to see. And you click record again and there it is. And I hit the space bar, it's going to stop it. So now you have this audio here and you know, you can go ahead and save it, file, save, but it's going to save it as a GarageBand. Uh, file and it's not going to really do much good. So in order to get this file into like a mp3 or mp4, you know, some type of a format where you can actually put it into a movie or something, you have to go up here to share, see it here, and then go all the way down to export song to disc, see it there. And uh, it's going to pull up a menu here in a couple seconds and it's going to let you save as. And then down here you can see it's going to say AAC MP3 A IFF or a WAV file. I'm going to choose MP3 and then you can, you know, definitely do the quality. It's going to be anywhere from low quality 64 bits to high quality 256. And then you just click export and, uh, and then basically it'll save that as for you. And that's how you get that file out of there so you can use it externally. All right, the fourth way is a little crazy, so stay with me, but it, you can do it and it's kind of cool. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up iMovie. And I'm actually going to go back and just you know, we can create a new project here. So we're going to sort of create new and then movie. And we'll do this really quickly. It's going to create a new movie here. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that um, you're under here and you can click on my movie up here. So what you want to do is you, you can record audio in here, but you first have to drag some kind of image in here. And you may not want an image, but if you do, I'll show you a couple different things here. So let's go ahead and just take some JPEGs. We're just going to pick maybe here. Here's like five or six JPEGs. We're going to drag them into here. And now that all these JPEGs are here, what we're going to do is just drag them into the timeline down here. So theoretically, you could um, do a voiceover to this and, and record this as audio and video. But just let's just say you want to do audio only just for this purpose. You go ahead and click here and at the very beginning. And if you notice now, this thing's lit up over here. Um, it's basically going to look like a little uh, record button down here. And uh, there's a little microphone here. And if you don't see that record button, you click on this little microphone. See it right here? And see how that little red button comes back right there? So this is the record button. And then once you're in here, um, it's going to basically start playing the video and you can record audio over that. But you don't need the, yeah, I'm going to show you. You can do this just to record audio only. So go ahead over here. Go back over here and see this little, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a little slider bar. Click on that first. All right, so once this is open, it's going to say import source. You can go system setting, which is the one I had in there. I showed you earlier, but really, if you open this up, you can choose which one you want. And I want, again, that five, five fine microphone, although it is set up already for that. So that's how you choose the source. Then also in here for volume, make sure this volume is maybe like somewhere in this area over here. And then make sure you, when it says mute project, it, you, you want that checked, actually. Otherwise, there'll be an echo. So once that's all done, all you can do then is go back to the beginning of your video, like right here, and then click this button here. It's going to give you a countdown and then you can start recording audio. See it? All right. Now I can go ahead and start recording audio and you can see down here in the left hand corner it's recording it. As soon as I want it to stop, I'm going to go ahead and click this little button right over here again and click that. And now I record this audio. See it down there? And that's the audio that I want to save. Also up here, I put it into my kind of uh, media up here. So here it is up here. So let's just say now I want to record only this audio and not all these pictures. And granted, you can also have this as a movie with the audio over it. But instead, I just want the audio only for some reason. Go up here. You can see in the upper right hand corner, click on this. Go to File. And all you have to do basically here is go to Audio Only right here for the format. And then you can go ahead and click on either MP3, Wave again, and you just make sure you click audio only, not video and auto, audio, but you want to do audio only. And then just click next and then you save it and it'll save it then as an MP3 file. And that's all there is to it. There'll be no video. It'll just be the voice file and you can use that for anything else you want. It's a crazy way to do it, but you can do it this way. All right. Now the fifth way is 
probably the craziest and also maybe the easiest. So stick with me here. So what you want to do is you want to go down here and click. Well, I can just do that. Go ahead and, and go to Launchpad. Open up Pages now. Pages, obviously, everyone can download or it comes with your Mac. Um, go ahead and open up a blank page. A couple things really quickly. You can go ahead and type something like, let's say you're typing, this is a test. Let's say you're actually just typing something for somebody. Um, right off the bat, you can go ahead up here. See where it says Media? Let me go ahead and open this up a little bit. It says Media right here. Click on that. Go down to record audio right there. Now it's going to open up this box down here. It's going to use your microphone that's obviously in your in your preferences up there so make sure you have the right microphone. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you how cool this is. Click record audio. This is a test. This is a test. This is a test. And I just did that. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and click insert. Look at this right here. And the funny thing is this will actually throw the audio into your document. So like if someone's actually reading your document you send this to somebody with a Mac, they can click on this. This is a test, this is a test, this is a test. It'll record it. So you can put in voice memos right in your documents. But let's just say you want to, you know, you just want to record that audio out and put it somewhere else. If you click on the audio like I did over here in the right hand pane, you can see it right here, this information. Just click on where it says file info, drag this file over to your desktop, and there it is. It's an MPA again, it's a sound recording file, and it works perfectly fine for just about anything. So that's how you can get them out really quickly and probably the fastest way to do it. All right, so the first two are pretty easy, right? The first one's gonna be the audio program built into the Mac. You should know how to use that. Maybe you didn't know so much about you know, the quality and stuff like that, so hopefully that's a tip that can help. Um, QuickTime is the other one most people know about. Again, a lot of people don't, but some people do. So I wanted to kind of go over that as well. And then the other three are a little bit more kind of off the beaten trail, I would say. And uh, it's a good way to record audio if you have an external mic or even your internal mic, but I always recommend getting an external mic if you can. So anyway, it's a short video. Just want to help people out. Again, this may not be for professional users and it might be a little bit different for, for those type of people. I mean, they may already know all this stuff. Post comments of other you know, ways to record audio for free, mind you, not, not paid for, but for free. Uh, using your Mac and uh, I know I forgot a bunch of them or I didn't cover of some of them I know of but um, just wanted to keep this to five so if you guys can help support my channel and uh, definitely subscribe click the like button I make a couple videos a week usually in the Mac and sometimes PC talk to you soon peace